Two men killed within just two months of each other in the same Stockton neighborhood. Yeah, the recent violence has neighbors on edge, understandably, and police are now working to figure out how to address the crime in that area. The latest shooting happening just before five o'clock last night. A 20 year old was gunned down on Knickerbocker Drive near West Lane. Investigators say that this neighborhood is the same area where an 18 year old was killed and three other men were shot back in March. KCRA 3's K Reese tells us the steps police are taking to help keep neighbors safe. Jonathan Hernandez was killed here on Knickerbocker Drive, a brazen crime police say that was committed in broad daylight. His sister Litzy says Jonathan was personable and now deeply missed. She asked KCRA not to show her face. You can't really believe it at first and how it happened is just not something you can imagine. The murder has also rattled neighbors who tell us shootings are commonplace. I ain't really seen them, but you hear them. So how many have you heard of? Seven, eight. Oh, there's a lot of concerns, honey, because too much violence. Officer Joe Silva says Knickerbocker Drive is known for its gang violence, although the circumstances of Hernandez's murder are unclear. This is a high crime neighborhood. Just going back to last March, we had four people shot right in that same area. Silva adds just two months ago, four men were shot, one died near where Hernandez was gunned down. That case remains unsolved, and investigators have few leads with this latest shooting. We called out our homicide team. We've been working on this all throughout the night, and right now we don't have a motive for this shooting or any releasable suspect information. Silva says more officers are now patrolling Knickerbocker Drive. So that we could try to provide some type of relief to that community and try to reduce the gun violence. And soon the neighborhood impact team will reach out to share with neighbors how they may work with police and each other. Everybody try to help each other and clean up this area. K Reseed, KCRA 3 News. Now Kay adds that Officer Silva says a lot of families on Knickerbocker are usually just too scared to speak out because of retaliation. The police department wants to assure the public that there are ways, though, to leave anonymous tips through Crime Stoppers. Well, we've reported on a lot of violence in our communities as of late, and we've got a map tracking the shootings in Stockton and Sacramento. It's all on the KCRA 3 app. You can scan this QR code with your phone. A link will pop up to take you to our article.